Let's now take a look at an example. We're still gonna work with that same common source circuit we had before, so I've copied that configuration here and we can see our resistor and voltage values for reference. And we were also told that we had a threshold voltage of one volt and a conduction parameter of 0.1 milliamps per volt squared. And so what we wanna do is to determine the parameters corresponding to the transition point. And so the transition point between saturation and non-saturation. So let me go back to our load line because I forgot to mention a couple things in the previous video. So what we're interested in here is this transition point as we're going from saturation to non-saturation. So we're trying to find the values that correspond to this. So transition point. So we wanna find the VGS value, we wanna find the VDS value, and we wanna find the ID value. One other thing that I also forgot to mention in this load line plot is our third region of cutoff. So our cutoff region, of course, corresponds to having zero drain current. So that's going to be down here when we're on our voltage axis. So let's return to this problem now of trying to find the values at this transition point. So as always, I would encourage you to pause the video and try to set up the problem or work through it yourself before coming back and watching the solution here. Okay, so let's write what we know is true at this transition point. So at our transition point, we know that our VDS is going to be equal to VDS sat. And so we know in general, our VDS sat is given by VGS minus VTN. And so this is just by definition of of that transition point being at VDS sat. And so let's call this to be consistent with the notes, equation one. We also know from KVL on the drain source loop, so from looking right here, so doing this KVL, we've used this before, but we have our VDS is equal to VDD minus ID times RD. And let's call this equation two. And so note that this equation is going to depend on the particular circuit configuration. So what we're solving for here is not some general equation for transition point. The third thing that we want to note is the value of our drain current ID. And so we actually have a choice here. We can use our equation for ID from the saturation mode or from the non-saturation mode. And so what we're gonna choose here is to do the saturation mode just because the current equation is a lot simpler. And the reason we can use either equation is of course, if we look at one of these blue IV curves, the, the current should be continuous. So either equation should hold at this transition point that corresponds to that dashed orange line. So using our saturation equation, we can then say our ID is equal to KN times the quantity of VGS minus VTN squared. And let's call this equation three. So what we wanna do now is we're going to equate equations one and two because these are both VDS, and then we're going to substitute our ID expression in for our ID here. So let's just sort of write that out, sort of our game plan here, is we're going to equate one and two, and then we're going to substitute ID from three. Okay, so if we do that, we have from our equation one that our VDS is equal to VGS minus VTN. We have that that's equal to, from equation two, VDD minus ID times RD, but let's just go ahead and substitute it in for our ID. We know that that is equal to KN times the quantity of VGS minus VTN squared. Okay, so to make things a little bit easier, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna treat this VGS minus VTN as a single parameter. So I'm gonna say let capital X be equal to VGS minus VTN. So we have an X squared over here and an X over here. So let's plug in our values. Well actually, let's, before we plug in our values, let's just go ahead and rearrange this for clarity. So we're gonna set this up to be a quadratic equation. So we have, if we move sort of everything over to the left side, we're going to have RD times KN times our X squared. And then we have plus X, which was initially on that left side. And then we're going to have minus VDD 
is equal to zero. So now we're ready to plug in our values. So again, we come back up to our circuit here. We see VDD is equal to five, RD is 20K ohms, and our K sub N was given as 0.1 milliamps per volt squared. So if we plug all of that in, we end up with two X squared plus X minus five is equal to zero. So now that's just a simple quadratic equation we can solve in our calculator in MATLAB using our quadratic formula, however you want to do that. You should end up with, of course, two answers for X. Our negative value answer doesn't make physical sense based on the fact that we have an enhancement mode in MOS. So we can sort of zero in on one of those two answers then, our positive one, and we get that our X, which remember is VGS minus VTN, is equal to approximately 1.351 volts. And so of course we can then solve for our VDS sat and our VGS. So that value is equal to our VDS sat. So we can say VDS sat is equal to approximately 1.351 volts. To get our VGS value, we just add one volt to that, our VTN. So VGS is going to be approximately 2.351 volts. And then finally, to get our drain current, we just go back to our drain current expression we had in equation three. So we can say that our drain current, ID, is approximately equal to our 0.1 milliamps per volt squared times our 1.351, because that's our VGS minus VTN squared, so that's volts. And so we get that this drain current is approximately 0.182 milliamps. And so again, if we go back to our load line, we could approximately see where these, well, we could see exactly where these values are. So let's do pink, for instance. So we could see here, this would be our, our VDS sat. And so that's the 1.351. And again, note that not everything is to scale. This would be our ID value of 0.182. So let me go ahead and write these values here, 0.182. This would be our 1.351, and our transition point on that curve would correspond to the curve VGS of 2.351.